Hi, I'm Jeff White, and I am the owner of Clean Ease Cleaning Products, and today I'm going to show you how to seal a natural stone floor. This is a travertine floor. We cleaned this just a little while ago. It's not completely dry, but we're just doing this for demonstration purposes, um, how to seal this the easy way. We recommend our stone and grout sealer. It is a water-based product very low odor. It's a great product, protects against oil and water-based stains uh, on a floor like this. In a bedroom, probably once every two to three years you need to seal it and you're good to go. Um, it's as easy as this. I would just take this and pour this into, we poured it into a, just a little bowl because we couldn't find a bucket to put it in. But you want something small so it doesn't uh, spread out throughout the whole big bucket. You want to keep it upright. Um, it's as easy as this. Take your brush that we sell with our product and it attaches to any broom pole. You can use it by hand for walls and showers or you can attach it. We used to tell you to tape these things on here. You don't have to do that anymore. Take your broom pole, attach it, and then you stick it into your sealer. You ready, Ryan? Yep. Stick it into your sealer. Get a little bit on there. Go over your grout lines, make sure they're good and full. And then go over your tile. It's pretty quick. Soaks right in. Give it five minutes to soak in there come back and we're going to show you how to rinse it off. I recommend two coats on any natural stone. Um, you can get away with one if you feel that there's very little traffic. Like this room, I might just do one because there's very little traffic in here. It's just a, a spare bedroom. Um, but that's completely up to you. Two coats is going to just give you a little bit more protection. We'll be back in five minutes. I'll show you just how I mop this off. Okay, it's been five minutes. Um, I recommend any type of mop, as long as it's clean, always change out the mop head, have a nice clean mop head. Really wring it out well. This is a spin mop, so I spun it a lot of times to get the moisture out of it. If you have a microfiber mop, if you don't have any of those, use a towel. Just get the excess off of the tile and grout, and then let it soak in there. It could take up to 24 hours for it to soak in and give you complete protection. But it's as easy as just rinsing it off of there. I always go diagonally over the tile and grout. And that's it. Let it dry. 24 hours, go about your business, and you'll be good to go. If you want to put two coats on there, wait about an hour in between coats. Uh, hour, two hours, really doesn't matter. Do it again. Let it dry. Do, go through those steps again. And then 24 hours later, it should be nice and dry, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching.